Pixel OS is here. This Pixel OS brings you new update and we have it spaced on a January security patch and a lot more extra things in this one. For example, with this new update, we have some changes. We have some additions in the feature. So I'll talk about all of those things in this video. Make sure to watch this video till the end. We'll talk about all of those things in this video. Stay tuned. First of all, this is one of the quite simple and minimal thing which we usually don't talk about. This is Quick Torch. This is the feature which is present with this new update. So you can simply long press the power button to turn on the torch and also to turn off the torch. Very simple, but could be very handy in some certain scenarios. It's available. So just wanted to let you know. Secondly, we have the new refresh rate select options or this page, this new page available through where you can select or you can simply change your device refresh rate 60, 90, 120, whatever your device has. And also this basically, this is a new sub menu, which was already available previously. That was just a simple pop up previously. But now we have a dedicated specific page for that, which is actually amazing one. Another thing is related to live display. So we have this new live display option available, which was as far as I know, it was not there in the previous update so you can adjust the colors of your screen you can adjust saturation and you can try out some more things by trying by trying out this live display feature available in the display settings of course including this one if you take a look at the device unlock options you will find that you have the option for scramble layout which is a must have thing and i guess it's even it should be even included with the stock android i'm talking about pixel devices you also have the option to access the power menu on secure lock screen make sure to disable this thing because this is a very useful thing in the terms of security make sure to disable this thing including that if you take a look at the circle to search yes it is here it is working fine it was expected that it should work it, it is working fine you just have to update your google app once and you'll be able to use circle to search on a device it is quite handy for some of the users uh, but personally for me i mean i don't use it much because it is here so just wanted to let you know we have this option available personally speaking it's good of course for some of you including circle to search let me show you some more things which are included in this one for example, if you want to know about the play integrity, yes, it is here. It is working fine. It is basically device and basic. But one thing, let me tell you that my device is rooted with Magisk. So yes, I just tried play integrity fix. It is here. It is working fine. So for example, if you have installed Pixel OS on a device, you have rooted your device with Magisk. You can simply try out play integrity fix by enabling Gigisk option in the settings and you will be able to pass the play integrity. One thing, let me tell you that if you use kernel SU or a patch, you need to install Gigisk separately, but everything else, everything else process is basically same. So this is how you can pass play integrity. If you are looking forward to cloned apps option or game space, yes, both of the features does not exist in Pixel OS custom ROM. If you take a look at this app section, you can see that we do not have the option for cloning the apps, although it's based on Android 15. So you can use private space in case you want to. Taking a look at the Google Photos, as Google Photos has the unlimited storage option available, as you can see. So you can take a backup for uh, basically you can take backup of anything, photos, videos at no charge, full quality. It is here. Also, if you take a look at the more security and privacy options, we have an option to bypass the security related to this, which is named as ignore Windows secure flags. So you can simply take the screenshot and also screen record in some certain apps, which does not allow you to by default do that. And this is a very amazing and useful thing. Uh, basically for the users who want to bypass that thing. Looking forward to some of the default apps. This is what we have. So no default gallery. Keep this thing in mind because we have the Google Photos app reinstalled. That is also considered as a gallery app. But this is not like some of the other AOSP focused custom rooms. If you use Xiaomi device, for most of the Xiaomi devices, we have this Xiaomi camera. Leica camera is this pre-installed. Uh, I mean, if you was a, if you are a Xiaomi device user, if you use OnePlus device, if you use Motorola device or any other device, I'm not so sure about that. But for most of the Xiaomi devices, we have this camera pre-installed. For some of you, this could be, I mean, it is working fine. It might not work fine for you, but it is here. So just wanted to let you know. These were the things just wanted to let you know if you want to try it out on a device for official devices uh, the, for official update it's available for a few of the devices if it is not yet it might be available unofficially or maybe will be available soon so thanks for watching hope you like this video we'll see you in the next one take care